Hi, I'm Maple Lancira, and thank you for tuning in for this edition of Arts. His canvas is a dirty car window, and his paintbrushes range from a stick to his index finger. Reporter Donna Parker takes us to visit artist Scott Wade, who creates masterpieces meant to be enjoyed while they last, because these quirky creations disappear in the blink of an eye with a good rain or a car wash. Some people call Scott Wade the da Vinci of dirt, but he prefers the much simpler dirty car artist. After all, the canvas for his masterpieces is dirt. You know, I, I lived for 20 years on a long dirt road. My cars were always filthy. And I would come home after work and be stressed out from work and I just kind of want to unwind. So I would take my finger and just draw pictures in the dust on the cars. Eventually, native Texan Scott, who spent much of his life in Colorado as the son of an Air Force officer, put some real thought into what he could do with the Lone Star Caliche. And he... So I'd use the pads of my fingers to lightly brush the dust away and use my fingernails to get a finer line. Scott has never had to look beyond what life has thrown his way to add to his artistic tool belt, like the day he was chewing on a popsicle stick, which suddenly became something else entirely. And it was all kind of feathery on the end. I'd finished the popsicle and took it out of my mouth and went, hmm, maybe I can do something with this. So. And that was Scott's real dirty car art, aha moment. Wow, so I ran into my studio and I got all my brushes and came out and just started playing and that's how I developed the techniques. Simple tools, complicated works of art, first sketched out, filled in, and then blown away. But lest you get the idea that because a stick, some dirt, and a little hot air are so basic that anybody can create the Mona Lisa on glass, which he did, a Miss Van Gogh's Starry Starry Night, take a pause and think about where your thoughts ran the last time you saw a dirty car. To give you an idea of how difficult this might be, when most of us see a dirty car, we're pretty much limited to drawing one thing. You know, I, I, tend, I tend to want to try to do realistic things because I feel like that's more impressive to people when they see that on a, on a dirty car window, they go, wow. My interest is really in the medium more than the subject matter. So I don't really mind what, I, what subject I do. I want it to be dynamic and fun for the viewer. Uh, but I'm really happy to, uh, to try just about anything. Scott waits about a week and a half for the dust to collect, but if he needs a canvas more quickly, then it's a smear of vegetable oil and a hand-cranked garden duster. And just like that air, this art is here one minute and gone the next. I love the fact that this art form is impermanent because it kind of helps me to remember that all of life is impermanent. We are just moving through here very quickly. Nothing really lasts. I mean, even the great works of art uh, from the Renaissance and the medieval times are all decaying, you know. It's kind of nice to just to embrace the, the beauty in the moment and enjoy that. People ask me what is my favorite piece of art, I always say the next one. I stole that from Frank Lloyd Wright, but it's true. Scott Wade has created close to 100 pieces of art on car windows. People around the world are so fascinated that he's off to Australia and New Zealand to show those down under what they can come up with using a stick and some dirt. What would you tell people that are watching this that maybe just want to goof around a little bit and get out there and pluck that finger out and see what they can do? Creating, to me, it gives me a connection to the vast creative world. Any material can become art. Look at nature, look at, at the, the world that is around you, and it's all creation. And that wraps it up for this edition of Arts. For more arts and culture, visit klrn.org arts. 
where you can find feature videos, blogs, and information on upcoming arts events. I'm April Lancira, and I'll see you with more art next week. Art is made possible by viewers like you. Thank you.